dear shareholders and dear visitors. Good morning, everybody. It's my great pleasure to welcome all of you on behalf of the board of directors and general management to the 59th ordinary annual general meeting of Happy Mog here in the Altman Halle in Bar. A special welcome also goes out to our viewers via live stream. As a rule, there's about a thousand people usually watching this way. So, good morning and welcome. Here in Bar, but also over the live stream. Good morning, everyone. The General Assembly will be held in German, but it will also be live translated to you in English. Ja, nachdem wir die letzte so, after three years during which we were only able to carry out our general meetings um, without the presence of our shareholders, we are now extra pleased to be able to greet all of you here again in the Waldmann Halle. Many of you know me. My name is Philipp Ries. I am the chairman of the board of directors of Hapimark, and I will be accompanying you through today's meeting. A special welcome today goes out to some particular uh, persons, starting with Kito Renkli, our honorary president and uh, one of the co-founders of Harpimark. Pleased to have you here. Good morning, Dr. Renkli. Mr. Renkli started or founded Harpimark 60 years ago, which is why we have a jubilee today. Thank you very much. Then we have Mirko Plotza, here in the front, he is a member of the Audit Advisory Board. Then our notary, Florian Schneider, good morning. Also in his function as independent voting proxy. Then Bruno Porchert, good morning. He is the head auditor at the auditing firm BDO AG. And we also have here Lea Mishra, who I don't see at this moment, but she will be joining us as a next generation uh, committee member, starting from after th th this AGM. So Lea, we're looking forward to our collaboration. I'd also like to welcome our four shareholders associations, all in the front rows. Welcome everybody, and we're very glad to have you here today. I'm looking forward to your contributions. Then I would also like to welcome all media representatives. Thanks for your interest. And finally, all our employees at Happy Mark. And a uh, great thanks to all of you to make today's meeting possible. You might have noticed already there have been a few changes uh, today. Firstly, there is only one lectern now because we are all shareholders at Happy Mark and we want to have all shareholders speaking from the same lectern because we all have the best interest of Happy Mark at heart. And secondly, we also want to have as much ex exchange with all of you as possible. That's why we have these tables in the back where the board members and uh, management members and many of our other employees will be available for you during the breaks and after the meeting to talk about whatever you want. So we're looking forward to that. And um, thirdly, uh, there is the matter of time. And um, sometimes annual general meetings can go a bit longer, but we have uh, put some provisions there for you under your chairs and uh, hopefully that will help you follow this whole meeting to your satisfaction. So, since the last physical AGM in 2019, there have been a few changes in Happy Mark itself as well. Um, that uh, also goes for the staffing of the board of directors and um, general management. So, it's a special um, honor for me 
to greet the following individuals on stage with me. Please welcome Manuel Carrasca, Chief Hospitality Officer at Happy Mark. Then, I'd like to welcome Sylvain Audemart, co-CEO and CFO at Happy Mark. Then, a face familiar to many of you, Hassan Kadbi, co-CEO and member of the board. Then, Stephanie French, who has been with our board for a year now. Good morning, Stephanie. Then Christine Haley Hitbo, Vice President of the Board of Directors. So, please, everybody, join me on stage and another round of applause for our guests. So, great to have you with me here on stage. Manuel, you have been with us for 16 years with a lot of passion and energy. What were, or in, in the past three years, uh, things weren't always so easy in all the resorts, I imagine. What were the biggest challenges you faced in, in the last three years at the resorts? Yes, um, I have to... Uh, I have to agree, uh, time has flown. It, it seems like just yesterday that I started in Paguera, but it was already 18 years ago. And we have seen many challenges in those times. But looking back over the past three years, I must say it was very impressive what happened. And, and, and of course, the, 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 the COVID pandemic was something the like of which I'd never experienced yet before in my professional career. Um, it also meant that the demands uh, and the atmosphere and resorts were, were, were constantly uh, shifting. We had to open, reopen, close um, resorts, sometimes monthly or, 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 or even, even every couple of days. It was, a, it was truly quite a challenging situation. And at the head office in Steinhausen, we uh, also had many employees that ensured that our um, communication stayed transparent and that wasn't uh, an easy thing to do there was thousands of calls coming in emails all of which had to be replied to in a transparent manner uh, in the shortest possible time so that was really uh, quite a task it's really nice to see that our employees regardless of which um, part of uh, Happy Mark they were working at, what great motivation and passion and, and commitment they showed to ensure that all of you were able to spend a safe and pleasant holiday. So this was the first big challenge. And the second one that is still uh, a topic is the lack of staff. And this is something we deal with in, at the resorts too, of course. We have a great employees and great talents that we keep developing but we're just simply not always able to fill all vacancies this is something that um, is is a very important uh, issue at the moment and we, we are in the process of dealing with with it and continue to deal with it well thank you Manuel and please give our greetings to the resorts the resort managers that's what makes us the happiest when we and spend holidays at your resorts. Thank you. Silvan, you have been with us since 2019 in the team, but your family has a very long history uh, as a shareholder. Can you tell us something about your experiences, but also how it feels to now be one of the co-CEOs at Happy Mark? Well, Philip, it's true. I'm a third generation shareholder. My grandmother was one of the very early shareholders of Happy Mark. She grew up during war times and she only later in life was able to travel 
And I remember always when she would talk to us about Happy Mark, her eyes would get all shiny. I call that the Happy Mark shine. And then 30 years ago, I was able to do my first trip uh, uh, with Happy Mark together with my parents. We went to uh, Munich and then later other destinations would follow. And this is how I became Happy Mark kid. And since 2019, I am now uh, working for Happy Mark too. I'm sure my grandmother would be very proud because she always said it's a great company and it's really unique and it's for me it's something very close to my heart so it's a real pleasure for me to be able to uh, work in this new role together with Hassan and the, and the entire team and to help bring this great idea this great company forward and keep developing it and I believe that with our current strategy with our current team and with your help dear shareholders we will uh, be able to return to uh, healthy growth and also uh, get more people on board with the Happy Mark idea. Well, thank you very much, Silvan. We're also very happy to have you. Hassan, you have already been uh, busy for Happy Mark for since 18 years in many capacities. So with your ideas, but also the ideas of the whole team, you have brought Happy Mark forward a great deal. And last year, you approached us with a completely new idea, the idea of sharing the function of CEO. So can you please tell us how, you, how this idea came about? Well, since starting at Happy Mark in March 2005, time has just flown by because it was really inspiring to work with so many great people and together with all of you uh, make possible the change at Happy Mark. For me, Happy Mark has always been more as a job than, than just a job. It's almost like a, a life partner of sorts, somebody who I spend a lot of time with and I like spending a lot of time with. And after 18 years la later, I still <laughs> almost love Happy Mark as much as my wife. But please don't tell her if you want to see me at the next AGM. I also didn't hand out the link of the live stream because maybe uh, <laughs> maybe I'll have to come over and stay at one of your places otherwise. But seriously, um, about the conversation and the idea to, to change uh, the role of CEO, th the main point was that I believed it was in the interest of Happy Mark. One of my tasks and my duties as CEO and also as co-CEO is to always stay focused on the future of Happy Mark. I saw and see only um, benefits for uh, Happy Mark with this co-CEO system. As a team of two, we can uh, get even more fast and efficient at bringing Happy Mark forwards and having uh, uh, making happy mark preparing happy mark for the future and we can also we're also in a better position to keep developing our corporate culture after we had the initial idea of course uh, many details need to be uh, clarified and planned for example who would be the most suitable person for this job how can we make sure that it works how can we organize it in a way that that makes sense for happy mark and everybody else and uh, make this transition as smooth as possible. And it has been my great pleasure since the beginning of this year to share my job with Silvan. And I can say with certainty that the first 100 days have been very positive. And I'm still in love with Happy Mark after 18 years. I'm happy to continue with Silvan with uh, great motivation. Thank you, Hassan. Stephanie, you have been in our board since one year, and we're very happy to have you. The shareholders here uh, might not know you that well yet, so maybe uh, you could tell a few things about yourself and about your first year here at Happy Mark to our shareholders. Yes, thank you. I'm really pleased to be here today. So, the whole concept of Happy Mark Shared Economy suddenly becomes even clearer to me because I see you here now. You are all the co-shareholders uh, of uh, Happy Mark. I studied as an architect 
I worked in consulting for a long uh, time at, at uh, Ernst & Young in Berlin. I was also a partner there. In 2011, I decided to switch sides, as it were, um, and I led a great housing corp corporation in um, uh, Berlin that belonged to the uh, land of Berlin with, with 16,000 um, uh, apartments. I, I have now switched uh, the jobs again, and I'm, I'm uh, working for a family office in Berlin that also deals with, um, uh, with housing, and I'm also uh, a member of several boards, in, and I'm also active in associations because and uh, one of the main topics for me uh, as for the whole economy is sustainability and uh, I, I know that it is also very important here well and about my first year how was it well I have to say I am really really enthusiastic from the start I love the idea of this um, shared economy I was vaguely familiar with Happy Mark from the past, from uh, f friends in school or friends of my parents. I think it's such a sustainable, great concept uh, that you share things together. And this is something that is actually becoming more, um, uh, more of a, a, a current discussion again. And it's great for me to be able to uh, contribute um, to, to something like this. And I, I'm really, really happy with the team at Happy Mark. Um, this is such an amazing uh, professionalism in dealing with each other, a management team, a board of directors, and people who are not only very professional, but very passionate about what they do. For me, this is a great thing. I've been warmly welcomed here. I feel really comfortable here, and I really uh, am looking forward to bringing my capabilities and con contributing um, to what is happening here for now and for the future. Thank you, Stephanie. Du feierst ja. Well, Christine, you also <coughs> celebrating an anniversary this year. We're celebrating 60 years. You're celebrating 10 years. Happy Mark shareholder. You joined uh, the board. You've been the vice president since 2022. Tell us a little bit about what fascinates you about Happy Mac. Well, thank you, Philip. Indeed, 10 years ago, me and my husband bought our first Happy Mac shares. Our two sons were little kid, and we were always very happy to be able to move uh, to a completely furnished apartment while at the same time having full hotel service. Our sons grew up, uh, our travel needs changed. Uh, in the beginning, we wanted sun and sea, then we went to Flims to go skiing, and now we also enjoy city trips. Our sons have continued to grow up. Our oldest son uh, turned 18, and we offered him his own Happy Mac share. He uh, voted at the AGM without interference from his parents, I must stress. And he's going to go on his first Happy Mac trip in a month's time using his own points, and he planned and booked it himself. Christine, may I ask, has he paid uh, up uh, his yearly fee, his yearly contribution? Well, as you can uh, see, this is something th that is very important to Philip, uh, that these dues are paid. I am sure he has, because actually I paid it. It was part of uh, the present. We promised her son that as long as he's in training, we shall pay the yearly fees for him. Ladies and gentlemen, should you have a, a grandchild uh, about to uh, come of age, about to turn 18, maybe that's a great idea for a gift. But uh, um, as Philip said, I'm not really in sales and marketing, but I'm a board member and have been since 2019. And uh, just as my colleague Stephanie French, I'm always impressed uh, by... Um, 
our employees, by our staff, by their enthusiasm in all our resources. Uh, and I'm impressed by our business model, which is still young, modern and sustainable, even th though it's 60 years old. I'm very happy to be with Happy Mac. Thank you very much, Christine. Thank you. Thanks to all of you. It was great uh, to hear all of you. Please take a seat, uh, recharge your batteries um, before uh, we welcome you back uh, to this stage. Fantastic. Um, dear shareholders, make use of the opportunity. Uh, please uh, do talk to the members of the board. Do talk to the members of the general management. We look forward uh, to a dialogue with you. Let's take a brief look at today's agenda. Um, I'm going to make a start. I'm going to take a look at recent uh, developments at Happy Mark. Then I shall welcome our co-CEOs, Hassan and Silvan, who are going to present last year's highlights to you. And uh, they will also give an outlook for 2023. Our four shareholder associations have 10 minutes each after that. And then we have Mirko Plotzer from the AAB, who is going to uh, talk about the work of the Audit Advisory Board. We are then going to take a 45-minute break, giving you time uh, to get some refreshments, eat something, take a coffee, and obviously, um, exchange some views. After that, we have the statutory part of our AGM. That's today's program. And we look forward uh, to spending this day with you, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by looking at recent developments at Happy Mac. The last uh, three years were very intense. We went through a lot of things that I would not have thought possible. The pandemic, the Ukraine war, um, energy sc scarcity, uh, inflation marked uh, the world and uh, provided challenges for our team. Manuel managed, uh, uh, mentioned supply chain difficulties, man mentioned uh, the difficulties of finding skilled staff. This is something that is not over yet. Despite uh, these challenging conditions, our business year 2022 was a very good one. We had more guests, more overnight stays than in 2021. Our turnover was almost at pre-pandemic level. We live in uncertain times, and I think in these uncertain times, it's a very positive signal if we have a positive financial result. This is important for Happy Mac. We have an ambitious refurbishment and investment program, and with this positive result, we can implement this program. When it comes to maintenance and re Furbishment, we picked up pace. I went to Pagera to take a look at uh, the building site, and I must say I really look forward to seeing this fantastic resort reopened. A lot of uh, shareholders, I can tell, are very happy about these refurbished uh, resorts. Ladies and gentlemen, the last three years were difficult, and 
we are very happy about the trust you have placed in us over these three years. On behalf of the entire Happy Mac team, um, we would like to thank you. Your trust and the fantastic results uh, give us confirmation, show us that Happy Mac is on the right track. Let me assure you, we are motivated um, to passionately uh, work for an authentic holiday experience. We strive to continuously improve. We went through challenging times, ladies and gentlemen. We also transformed Happy Mac, uh, continued to optimize and simplify our business model. What does this entail? Booking has never been as simple as today. Trying out Happy Mac has not never been as simple as today. Becoming a shareholder, buying or selling points has become easier. Um, selling shares and even leaving the Happy Mac system has been simplified. Ladies and gentlemen, we offer a modern solution. You can tailor Happy Mac to suit your needs. You can buy additional shares and points should you wish to travel more. On the other hand, should you wish to travel less, you may want to sell some shares or some points. It sounds easy, ladies and gentlemen, yet it uh, was a difficult project that took several years all the pieces of this puzzle now fit together and have done so since May 2022. This simplified business model benefits you, ladies and gentlemen, and it's the foundation on which we uh, can build and can get more people to join Happy Mac. Happy Mac wants to grow through new customers. We have a new um, trial program, a tryout program. If you're interested in Happy Mac, you can uh, get to know us through a direct booking. Our new website has a booking portal that allows you uh, to make up to three holidays with Happy Mac <coughs> before joining. It was launched in June 2022, and over 100 interested people have used this tool since to book their first uh, holiday. This is a tool for uh, you, for your friends and relatives to try out Happy Mac, and we count on you to recommend this program. Our team, I must say, did a fantastic job and will continue to improve uh, these tools. Let me mention the cultural change, the change in corporate culture as the next point driven by Silvan, by Hassan, by the entire team. I can see a lot of people who are very passionate about Happy Mac and work day in, day out for our guests and customers. And this corporate, corporate culture has opened up. We are more cooperative and more ambitious than a few years ago. There is no, uh, there are no strong hierarchic structures. We meet at eye level independently of positions. We give personal feedback to grow individually and as a business. And I dare to say we do listen better to your feedback. We try to involve you in developing Happy Mac further. One example is our new website. A lot of Happy Mac members uh, contributed to developing it through workshops. We increasingly are able to attract young talent, which makes me particularly happy. They enjoy our team. They like our corporate culture. 
Happy Mac, ladies and gentlemen, has become more attractive as a business, as an employer, but also as a holiday provider. Ladies and gentlemen, I call upon you to talk to your friends and relatives. Recommend us, recommend our trial program and uh, give your friends the opportunity to take a look at Happy Mac. Be proud to be part of Happy Mac, as I am and have been for six years. Happy Mac is celebrating its 60th anniversary this year, ladies and gentlemen, and a lot of you have been with us for a very long time indeed. We would like to thank you for your continued trust and we thank you for being here today. I look forward to spending today with you and I thank you for your kind attention. Als nächstes werden unsere Cosios Hassan und Silvan auch Hassan and Silvan, our co-CEOs, are going to take a look back at 2022 and they're going to present an outlook for 2023. The floor is yours. Thank you, Philip. Dear shareholders, ladies and gentlemen, Happy Mark connects generations. We spend time with family and friends at our favorite resorts. And together, we form the Happy Mark community that stands for a sustainable and unique holiday experience. Behind all of this, there is a simple thought that drives us forward. And that is our vision, more happy people for a better world. We believe that holidays make people happy. And a world with more happy people is a better world. And finally, we are able to carry out our AGM with all of you here again. And uh, we are really pleased about that. I am looking forward to an uh, interesting exchange with all of you today. Also during the rest of the year, however, we always try to stay in touch with you, keep the dialogue going. And one important point here is to take into account the needs of the younger, but also the older generations. We are all part of Happy Mark. We connect generations from grandchildren all the way to grandparents. Everybody has their say here via surveys, in workshops, through your feedback on your vacation or by exercising your voting rights at the general meeting. Make use of these possibilities. We're counting on you to keep developing Happy Mark. The tangible trust that you have given us in the past years and in particular, during the past three years that were difficult at times, is very important to us. It shows us that Happy Mark is on a good course. But <clears throat> it also motivates us even more to give you an authentic holiday experience with passion and from the bottom of our hearts. So thank you again for being part of Happy Mark. My thanks also go out to all employees at Happy Mark. With their passion for their profession and their great commitment, they bring holiday cheer to all our resorts. I thank all our employees kindly for their great commitment. Thank you. And I am happy to give the floor to Silvan for an overview of our strategy. Thank you, Hassan. Dear shareholders, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also very happy to welcome all of you in bar today. 
2022 was a good year for Harpy Mark in more ways than one. We had noticeably more guests and um, overnight bookings than in the previous year. We made decisive um, progress in acquiring new customers and digital transformation. Investments in renovations at our resorts were almost tripled. And last but not least, we were able to conclude the year with a solid financial result. In the summer, the resorts had occupancy of over 90%, which was more than ever before. And also the rest of the year was extremely positive. We thank all of you that you spent your holidays with your loved ones at Happy Mark. Your trust, the extraordinary commitment of our teams, and uh, efficient cost management let us uh, finish with a successful figure despite a challenging environment. The positive results are a security for Harpy Mark. This is very important, especially in the uh, volatile situa situation we're facing uh, today in the world. Also in 2023, we will be um, dealing with challenges like the um, consequences of the Ukraine war, rising energy costs, high inflation, and a an ongoing um, difficulty in finding um, qualified staff. But we are also convinced that together with your help, dear shareholders, 2023 will also be a success story. Our strategy, our corporate strategy, is very important in this. Since 2019, when we launched our strategy, we have been able to make considerable progress in optimizing our business model and also regarding the flexibility of our product products. I would like to point out in particular the points platform, the marketplace for Happy Mark shares, the flex option, and finally also uh, the possibility to try out Happy Mark. Our goal was to make Happy Mark even more easy and attractive for all of you. Due to our success, we um, decided to double down on our strategy in 2022 in order to be even more effective. And we set ourselves three strategic goals. First, we will implement our business uh, model efficiently in order to generate growth by finding new customers. Secondly, we will improve the holiday experience for our guests and continue to develop it further. And thirdly, we will integrate sustainability and innovation in our business and our business model. Let's take a look at these three goals in a little more detail. Our first strategic goal is growth through new customers. So besides our existing customer base, we also want to attract new people to our unique sharing concept. Thanks to the flexibility and uh, modernization of our products, we have created a valid basis for this. Why do we have to continue growing? Why is growth so important? Growth is important for any organism. Without growth, it's only a matter of time until a company disappears from the market. A healthy growth also simplifies a lot of matters, though. It gives us more room to and more possibilities to um, invest in our resorts or to add new destinations to our portfolio. It allows us to improve your holiday experience and to in invest in innovations. It also helps us safely navigate Happy Mark through a volatile environment. It also gives us the possibility to uh, recruit the right talents for Happy Mark and to keep developing. And finally, but also extremely importantly, healthy growth, especially for you, dear shareholders, is very important because it ensures and even improves or increases the value of your shares, which will make it possible to um, divest them anytime you feel like it. Happy Mark will, of course, always be a niche product, but the good news is that our niche is large enough to stay in business successfully, at least for the coming 60 years. In the past years, we have created the basis to return to healthy growth. Our product is now simpler, easier, f more flexible, and better than it ever was before. The next um, goal has to be to bring more people on board into the Happy Mark family. The figures and developments uh, in, uh, for new customers and tryout members are making us very optimistic and they show us that we're on the right path. Before I hand over to Hassan, I would like to show you a video of my colleague Laura Mark, Head of Marketing, which will pre uh, present to you some of the innovations that will contribute to our future growth.
our strategy has three overarching goals. One of them is to uh, effectively leverage our business model. What does that mean for us? It is of central importance that people stay satisfied with Happy Market or are even more satisfied than before. And the basis for this was laid in the past years. Approximately three years ago, we started with the implementation of our corporate strategy. Thanks to some improvements, the business model is a lot simpler now and more transparent than it was in the past. I would like to explain that using a few examples. With the po uh, points platform on our website, members can more easily buy and sell points without having to directly contact anybody. And uh, similarly, we have a uh, marketplace for shares. This is our own um, small ad platform in which people can uh, advertise shares for sale or buy sales. Thanks to this marketplace, the shares um, or l let's say the, the share stock of a, a member can be tailored to their individual needs. All of this has been set up with the goal of improving your experience as a member and it is the foundation for the long-term community growth. So, since recently, interested parties can go on vacation with Happy Mark up to three times to familiarize themselves with their system. So these, these could be friends or family members of you. And if they're convinced, they can either acquire their shares through the marketplace. Um, I am working every day on bringing forward these, these new um, or, and promoting these innovations to make sure that also in the next 60 years, people can spend great vacations with Happy Mark. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Silvan. Our, uh, our second strategic goal is to improve and further develop your holiday experience. That means we want to give a high value, genuine and sustainable holiday experience and that goes for the on and offline part of the experience. In order to achieve this strategic goal of an improved holiday experience, we have implemented various measures. One of them is the new Happy Mug website that was launched in 2022. We have considerably simplified the booking process and also brought together our existing website with the booking portal. So based also on um, members' feedback, we are working on continuously improving our site. A new feature is also the flex option. Or no, the fact that the flex option is also directly bookable when making a digital reservation. With this option, a travel can be uh, cancelled up to one day uh, prior to departure without any hassle and free of charge. Many thanks to all employees involved in developing this great new website. It allows our guests to um, book their vacation even more easily. So thanks also to everybody who have continued improving services at our resorts for the well-being of our guests. Another measure are targeted investments in renovations at our resorts. Between 2020 and 2026, 20 resorts will either be refurbished or completely renovated. And in parallel, we will be continuously making uh, value-preserving investments in all resorts. In the past business year, we invested approximately 33 million euros in redoing our resorts. I would like to give you an overview of some past and ongoing projects. Some projects were already concluded, for example, the renovation at St. St. Michael in Austria. Shortly before Christmas 2022, the resort was reopened, which was actually earlier than originally planned. In Winterberg, two of the three renovation phases were concluded before Christmas. 
and the third phase of renovations of the holiday apartments is to be concluded in the first half of 2023. At the Paris Resort, renovation and refurbishment works started in 2021, and the older part of the resort was renovated. And those parts that were already um, renovated in 2011 were refurbished. It was also a matter of waiting for an official clearance from the authorities, and this is something, unfortunately, we were not able to um, to uh, accelerate, and we finally got it in early April. And since then, the Paris Resort has been open again. The complete renovation works at the holiday apartments in Paguera that started in late 2021 are still going on. A challenge are some of the uh, parameters uh, regarding delivery chains and resources that are resulting from the current economic situation. Bookings will only be possible once we have a officially confirmed date for completion. We uh, are trying to avoid a situation um, like the one that happened in Paris. In the course of the past year, the planning for the imminent renovations at Saint Augustine, Albufeira, Perlinzo, and Wien could be uh, commenced. It is uh, planned to begin with renovation work in Saint Augustine in summer 2023. And at the other three resorts, in the winter 2023-2024. So I would also like to take a look at the uh, model uh, apartment at the Albufeira Resort. Anybody who recently uh, was on holiday there has maybe already uh, been able to take a look in this so-called model apartment, which was uh, set up um, with an eye to the upcoming renovation. In summary, we can say that um, we are making some considerable investments in our resorts. All planning and um, construction works or, or renovation have become more difficult since the outbreak of the COVID pandemic and the Ukraine war. Um, materials have become more expensive. There are uh, delivery shortages, um, a, a lack of uh, um, contractors and other challenges. And um, in, in view of all that, I would like to thank all the involved teams at this point for managing this situation on a daily basis. Our colleague Tina Gerlach, that um, many of you might know from uh, your holiday in Ascona, will talk to you in a short video on this topic. Buongiorno. Good day. I'm your resort manager. Me and my team uh, want to provide the best experience for our customers. Happy Max celebrates its 60th anniversary this year. Our sustainable uh, business model um, is a modern concept. My colleagues from the other resort and myself do our best every day to cater for the needs of today's and tomorrow's client. A further business goal is to improve your holiday experience. Experience that includes continuously developing our website, our booking uh, platform, and introducing digital services for our guests. We uh, continue to expand our portfolio. When renovating our resorts, we strive to make our portfolio uh, more attractive. Between 2020 and 26, we invest in 20 resorts, and in particular in the holiday apartments. Booking is said to become more flexible. You will soon be able to book 15 months ahead of time. There will no longer be an opening of the booking process, but a new month becomes available every month, which makes holiday planning even easier. I look forward to more unforgettable moments with a Happy Mac family. A presto. See you soon. Herzlichen Dank. Thank you very much, Tina. 
finally, this brings me to our third and last strategic goal. We integrate sustainability and innovation and make it part of our business. We have a unique holiday concept of responsible sharing of holiday apartments. Sustainability and innovation become a part of our work. Sustainability uh, has become deeply rooted in Happy Max uh, DNA of the, of the last 60 years. We uh, are a sharing community. We use and share our resorts. Sharing is sustainable and is a major part of our business model. We have innovative cooperation partners. Since 2019, we've been adding value for our community, improving your holiday experience uh, and uh, adding value beyond your holiday experience. In 2022, we were able to implement some exciting uh, products uh, matching our four CSR pillars. Ecological responsibility. We want to continue to reduce our ecological footprint continuously. We therefore strive to bring down water and energy consumption. We um, turn to renewable sources of energy and uh, we want to reduce waste. We try to promote biodiversity at our uh, destinations and protect it as well as possible community engagement, we apply social and ecological standards and try to have a positive impact, or at least be neutral. We are a responsible employer. Well-being of our employees is important to us to um, implement our vision, more happy people for a better world together. Sustainable supply chains. We uh, try to source our products locally. Um, we try to uh, buy fair products and services. Happy Mark turns 60 this year, yet we continue to develop. Diverse startup partners are supporting us with innovation innovative uh, and sustainable products and services. We learn from their promising ideas. They benefit, on the other hand, uh, from our experience as a long-standing and established uh, business, which creates uh, perfect synergies. We have four CSR pillars, um, paving the way for a comprehensive sustainability strategy that we are currently developing. We, as a business, have set ourselves some ambitious sustainability goals who are in tune with these CSR pillars. The most important measures taken to reach the goals in 2022 was the, were the introduction of a measurement system for energy and water consumption, as well as the measurement of waste production in our resorts. We also offered our resorts the opportunity to invest in CSR measures and projects um, in improving their operative sustainability. One of our most important ecological business targets is uh, to reach net zero by 2050 at the latest. We not only want to save energy, but also um, increase uh, the share of renewable energies in our energy mix continuously. 
with our 56 locations, uh, this is a major challenge and uh, we're working hard on making these goals become reality. Over the next two years, we have external support to work on a climate plan that uh, is going to guide us into a CO2 neutral future. In the next video, my colleague Luke Teller, who's uh, responsible for sustainability at Hapimark, um, will uh, talk uh, to you. He uh, had his second child yesterday, therefore he cannot be here today, but uh, you shall see him in the video. Sustainability and innovation are a further target which is important for a future-oriented business. Happy Mark has an innovative sharing concept for holiday apartments, which is sustainable in itself. We have a concept of responsible sharing. Our owners are our guests which makes for a unique proposal in the tourism and hospitality industry. Our business model allows us uh, to reach high occupancy throughout the year, which means we make an important contribution uh, to our destinations. Our profits are mainly invested in renovation and maintenance of our um, resorts. Our cooperation partner help us to add value for our community going beyond your holiday experience. We collaborate with innovative startups supporting us on our way into a sustainable future. We use AI in several restaurants to combat food waste. We have intelligent lighting systems allowing us uh, to use motion sensors uh, to bring down our energy consumption by 50% compared to traditional systems. At 30 destinations, we set up uh, bee houses to promote biodiversity. And uh, in several resorts, we now uh, offer sustainable coffee capsules made from wood. Innovation and sustainability go hand in hand, as these examples illustrate. It makes me very proud to be working for a company that uh, has a sustainable uh, sharing uh, model and therefore a long-term strategy. I work for this business every day with a lot of passion. Thank you, Luke. Shareholders, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see and hopefully feel, a lot is happening at Happy Mac at the moment. We're actively trying to continue uh, to develop Happy Mac. We are fit for the future, and I hope that you are feeling um, these efforts. Which brings us to the highlights you have all been waiting for figures. Let me show you um, the figures illustrating our progress. 2022 was a successful year for Happy Mac. As uh, had been already said, we had record occupancy over the summer. Um, despite uh, lacks of staff, uh, we had uh, 4.6 customer satisfaction. Um, the points platform uh, had record values as well. The platform makes a uh, contribution to points being used up rather than expiring. The new trial program um, was launched uh, and had a good start end uh, of uh, 2022. 657 guests decided to try out Happy Mac. Um, April this year, it was already 1,146. We also launched our share marketplace, and these two uh, concepts uh, 
made us gain 2,654 new shareholders, 80% more than in the previous year. Let's take a closer look at uh, the number of shareholders and members. Uh, net count of shareholders uh, slightly reduced uh, to 4,365. This is uh, due uh, or this is linked to our share buyback program. The remaining 9,350 shares are going to be bought back by us. Most uh, shares are traded via the marketplace. Therefore, net figures are currently still going down. But in the financial year 2022, we had um, about 80% new customers compared to the previous year, which uh, is very uh, positive. Um, shares sold via the marketplace went from 810 to 2,993 due to the launch of the marketplace uh, resiliations uh, went down to 281, which is only a fraction of the previous level, which confirms our strategy, shows that we're on the right uh, uh, track. Um, 178.7 million operating uh, profit, almost 20 million over the last years. The yearly fees were an important support for us uh, over the pandemic years, as this uh, table illustrates. Let's take a look at occupancy. If you look at the green line uh, starting <coughs> in April 2022, uh, occupancy reached pre-pandemic uh, levels uh, from June to September. We had uh, 87 point something percent highest occupancy since we started measuring overnight stays uh, 40 percent up to 2.5 million. Um, mountain and nature uh, destinations continue to be a major trend since the pandemic. The city resorts had uh, some uh, problems to get off the ground due to the pandemic in 2022. Uh, 2023, we're almost back to normal. Our customers are back uh, to enjoy museums, restaurants and cultural life of our cities. Our consolidated financial statement for 2022 um, shows a net profit uh, of 4.9 million. You are traveling again, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Thanks to that and thanks to uh, the extensive work of our Happy Mac team, we're able to cushion the effects of uh, the corona crisis and the Ukraine war. These positive results uh, are important for stable development of Happy Mac, especially in this volatile uh, environment. In 2023, there are several factors who are going to stay important. Energy prices are still high. Inflation is still high. And it is and remains uh, difficult uh, to attract uh, qualified uh, staff. We uh, were able to cushion energy price rises due to long-term uh, contracts, which uh, have mostly come to an end. Uh, we have to uh, expect price e price increases for 2023. We uh, launched energy saving measures. We're investing in um, solar energy, intelligent uh, LED systems and other measures to save energy. You, ladies and gentlemen, can make your contribution, can make, do your bit. Please help us save energy. It brings down our costs, but not only you are making an important contribution uh, to combating climate change. Let's uh, take a look at cash flow and net financial debt. These are important uh, positions for future investments. Over the last four years, uh, we were able to um, bring down net debt from uh, minus 37.6 to plus 1.3. Um, Orlando and Nister, the investment made uh, an important contribution. 
which means cash flow is very solid. Uh, we were able to triple investment to 33 million in uh, 2022. We're going to uh, keep this pace uh, in 2023, as long as the financial framework conditions uh, permit it. Dear shareholders, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, was uh, a look at the last financial years. I hope we have given you a good overview. I hope you might have even learned something new. We will continue to do everything we can to lead Happy Mac into a successful future. If you want to help us, share with your friends, speak positively about Happy Mac. It has never been as easy as today to recommend and try out Happy Mac. Help us gain new shareholders. It helps all of us. We would like to thank you for your trust and we hope that we will be able um, to continue to fulfill uh, and exceed your expectations. Thank you.